ground to let them oh, yeah, out. Yeah. And all like, yeah, ag pie stuff. And all I do is just slide down the side so I can feed these on. They sit in between the notches. Mm -hmm. And then I put um, this this uh, special rubber what doesn't pull a current or yeah. anything else. I just jam that in and that all the way around. Across the main road. Yeah, main road's RTA. But there is a difference in some of it, but okay. put that around, that gives them a neat, even spacing all the way out. Yeah. And that's all that holds it together. Fine. So, we'll we do a quick job on there. Okay. <coughs> Very peculiar little pump, this. Was a normal pump, sealed around there, electric. Um, it was hooked up to one of these cells. It was only run for about a minute and a half, and it totally locked up that pump and the motor, burned it out. We then took it off there, put it onto this piece of pipe frame, and we put on a bigger motor out of a big fan. And if you seal these two hoses <coughs> off and hook it up to your um, 240 volt, you can do that, and the pump will not start to seize up or anything else. It won't. It'll just override. Yeah. And you can do that all day long. The weight overheat won't seize up. If you take this. Uh, one of these hoses intake off the um, cell, just pump it out, and I just drive it underneath water as a flash arrest or out yeah. in the open air, it doesn't matter. Um, draw in, take it out, don't turn the power onto the cell, this will just pull all day long and won't seize up. Turn either a bat, put a battery, or turn 12 volt power off a generator onto um, the cell. This pump will go for a minute, she turns. She goes for a minute and then she, you'll feel it go uh, and lock. And you can get on here with your fingers and you will not turn that. It's seized up. You just turn the power off, wait half a second, she restarts itself. It does not burn the motor out when she's locked. She'll just sit down and lock up, turn the power off. Turn the power back on again, she'll pump for a couple of times and then slow down. Uh, so is the gas... Up. Is the gas neutralising the electricity or... Is what I feel is it must be transferring through and sending a energy field yes. through the shaft and everything else and totally going against... You, this one here is 240, just, it goes against the 240. Yep. It goes against 12 volts, yeah. it goes against 24, it goes against 50, it goes against 240. Right. And we'll do the same thing all along. Okay. So, Whatever, when you turn the power onto the cell, whatever energy comes out through that gas and drawn into here will totally lock yeah. up. So which tends to indicate that we may have positrons involved which neutralises the electrons yeah. and the stop. As you can see, uh, a few minutes ago from the time counter, the, the uh, separation of the water between the two. She's all back on the bottom again. About 10 or 15 minutes ago. And this is uh, some photographs that we took prior to this video being filmed. Um, I'll go into each one of them and actually explain so that you can see a little closer as the cell was constructed. Uh, this first photograph here is um, showing Joe holding the cell. You're able to see the input end. This is the end where the water actually comes into the cell. And you can just see the configuration in the end there of how that's constructed. If we come down a little further here, you can see the input end again. This time it has the magnet in position. If we go over to this one here, you can actually see the output end. This time where it's actually a different configuration. Uh, and once again down here you have the output end with a magnet in position. Now, coming over to this side here, we have a situation where the irrigation pipe itself, the joiner where we broke into the line, um, it's just an ordinary uh, polypipe effect. It has a galvanised joiner in the middle there. We've taken that joiner out and we've actually placed the cell in there. That's what you can see on the video. Um, below here you can actually see the cell prior to actually putting it into position. And what we're doing in this section, situation here is identifying the end that we wish to make the input end. And this is uh, predetermined by the position it lies on the ground, the earth magnetic field, and the magnetic field that we're putting into this pipe. Uh, the last situation here is we're actually identifying the rear of it where the water is going to come back out of there. So that just gives you a bit of an explanation uh, as a tail to this tape to show you how we actually constructed uh, and identified